Hey guys, I'm back again for another exciting unboxing video. But before we get started, if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I do fashion, lifestyle, beauty, and travel videos every single week. So if you're into any of that stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, make sure you hit the bell button right next to it. That way you get notified every single time I upload a video and you don't miss a thing. Now let's get into this unboxing because honestly, I've been waiting for two days to do this. Let's go. So I was fortunate enough to pick up this beauty right here. I don't know if you guys have any idea what's in it, but it's a particular bag I was looking for. And thanks to one of my Facebook friends from the Chanel Addicts group, I'll link that group down below so you guys can check it out if you're into Chanel. But she helped me find it, so I'm really, really excited. And I hope that it lives up to the hype. Like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know if I'm gonna really like it. I hope I do. But, okay, I'm gonna stop blabbing now. Let's just open the box. So most of you guys already know what the typical Chanel packaging looks like. It's a black box and the white ribbon with the Chanel logo on it and the camellia flower. This particular box is a magnetic box, which I'm really excited about that too because uh, they just started doing the magnetic boxes recently and my previous unboxing of my first Chanel bag, which was my boy bag, it was just a regular box and it's kind of a hassle to go in and out of it. So I'm super excited that they gave me a magnetic box this time and I'm thinking it'll be really easy for me to go in and out, especially with all the extra packaging that Chanel tends to have. Here we go. This is the box, took the ribbon off. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay, you open it up. I'm trying my best to fit everything in here. And you open it up and there's tissue paper and uh, the Chanel sticker. And the tissue paper itself has the Chanel logo faintly stamped in white all over it. And the reason I'm showing all of this is because if you're looking to get a new Chanel bag, I think it's really informative for people to know what all the bells and whistles are when you get the packaging. So you kind of know what you should be looking for. I'm trying my best, guys. This is pretty, pretty heavy. As you can see, when you open it, there is a black Chanel dust bag. So some of you guys probably already know what kind of bag this is, but I'm gonna put it down to take the dust bag out just because this is kind of heavy. Now, when you take the dust bag out, underneath the dust bag is the care booklet, and inside of it also has a glove, just like the one I showed you in my previous unboxing. So if you haven't seen that, I'm gonna link it somewhere on the screen and somewhere in the description box down below because I'm not gonna open this just yet. I already know what it is, so. This is a lot of tissue paper. And I'm sorry for the noise, guys. I'm trying not to tear the paper too much. I'm also trying not to make that much noise to disturb you guys. But a lot of tissue paper, which is a good thing. It's annoying to open, but it's also a good thing because you know that the bag is well protected. Okay, give me a second. Let me get this paper off. Okay, guys. So this is the... Chanel So Black Old Medium Le Boy Bag in the Grand Lambskin. And this is from the 2017, I think, Spring Collection. Yes. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it still has the plastic stickers on it. Comes with all the protective belt. And it has a black chain detail because this is, like they said, so black. It's black on black, baby. Black hardware, black leather. And, you know, I'm actually loving this bag already. Like, I didn't know what to expect. And I must say I'm excited. Okay, anyway, so you open up the bag and there's something in here per usual. And it feels really good. It's like really soft and it's not as stiff as caviar leather. So it's like the 
perfect balance of like the luxurious feeling of lambskin with the um, hard wearing qualities of um, caviar which is just green calf skin anyway so this is technically like lamb caviar I mean I would say um, so this is just one big compartment inside a bag and it has as you can see a slip pocket at the back just like my other boy bag and inside is the authenticity card right here <sighs> wow guys I'm actually really I need a minute Okay guys, so I took a minute to look over the bag because if you're into Chanel, then you probably already know that lately there's been a little bit of controversy with this bag, which made me a little scared and had me freaking out for a second because I had just managed to track this down and order the bag. And then I'm reading on the Facebook group or the first forum that some people are having issues where their hardware is peeling and chipping and it's like brand new and it's already doing that or worn a couple of times for, for a couple of weeks and doing that. So although I was really excited to get the bag, I was a little scared. Like I didn't know if I was still excited and I don't know, you know, if I'm going to keep it or not just off the strength of that because I just looked at the chains myself and there's no chipping or peeling on this one at the moment. But I'm just worried now that maybe after you know a wear or two, there's going to be chipping and peeling. And for the price you pay for these bags, you really don't want to have that. I don't know if it's like a defect thing with a few uh, batches of the bag, and maybe I'm good and I'm safe. But I think what I'm going to do is because I love, I love it. I really do love it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to wear it a couple of times and keep an eye on the hardware and see how it wears if there's any chipping or peeling or anything like that and if not then this baby is here to stay yeah so if you guys want a review on this bag definitely let me know um i was gonna do my trust for this video but i figured that if you guys do ask me for a review then i'll do a full-on review what fits inside the pros the cons and my shots of course so if you're into that definitely leave me a comment below let me know Alright guys, that's all I have for today's unboxing. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up so that I know that you love unboxings and I'll just continue to do more. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram yet, you should be because most likely I'm going to style this bag on my Instagram and for my blog before I even make another video about it. So I'm going to leave my Instagram name somewhere on the screen. So make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see the bag in action. Also, uh, leave me in comments below if you want me to do a full review on this bag including mob shots, what fits inside, pros, cons, you know, anything you want to know, definitely leave me a comment and let me know. And if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss an upload. I'd really appreciate you for it. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! Right.